Hello today. And today we're going to have a game of leaderboard golf on the Atari ST. What's going on here then? All right, maybe that was the mouse. Um, yeah. So I first played this back in the day on my friend's Commodore 64. And for a golf game, it was really, really good for its time. Um, probably one of the best golf games on the Commodore 64, to be honest with you. Um, I had it on the Amstrad CPC 464, and it was utter crap. Um, so I have reviewed this on the Amiga. Now, on the Amiga, I had world-class leaderboards back in the day, and that was really good. So let's see how leaderboard plays here on the ST. Right, so number of players, one. So you can have up to four players. We'll keep it on novice because it's been a while since I reviewed it. So I'll keep it on novice. All right. I'll exit. Hang on, what do I? All right. All right. So novice, you use your mouse. Right. Okay. You can use your mouse. Right. You use your left mouse button to scroll down where you want to go, and your right mouse button to select. 18 holes, and we're not going to play all 18 holes courses. So, you've got four courses to choose from, four different course sets to choose from, I should say. Same as the Commodore 64. Now, it's all operated by the mouse. Um, so, if you want to move left and right, you've got to hold down your left mouse button to do this. If you let go of it, it won't move left and right. Um, now, because I've got it on novice mode, the game should choose the clubs for me. Now, once you're happy with the positioning of it, then you can hold down your rice mountain. Right, hold down your rice mount. What the fuck am I talking about? Hold down your right mouse button to um, take your shot. Now, there is a knack to it. So, if you want full power, hold it down to right to the let go then then you gotta click it again and try and get it between those two lines um so no it hasn't selected my clubs so it doesn't select your clubs in this the commodore 64 version if you put it on novice i'm sure that selects your clubs for you so you gotta basically select your own clubs right how do i accomplish that then Oh, you push left or right on the mouse. Right. Okay, what do I basically need about a 9-9, I'd say. Ah, oh, shit! I feel I got away with it, I got away with it, I got away with it. Well, that was quite a nice putt, actually. Nice shot, it weren't a putt. That hit a flag, hit a flag. So here, that line represents the steepness of the hill. So I want to... No! I pushed the wrong fucking button. Bollocks. I want to fuck up. I'm supposed to hold down my left mouse button. So now it's going that down that way. So I want to come this way so it comes round. Ah, oh, bollocks! Maybe that was too much power. I totally fucked this up now. I could have done better than that. I could have done better. That was a part, was that? It usually tells you what, what it is. I think that was a par four. This is a par five. Right, meaning you obviously know golf, don't you? I mean, you've got to get it in within five shots to be on par. Right, so. Well, that's better. So it does play pretty good here on the ST. It's a good version. Right, okay. 
Oh, it does, hang on, it does select your clubs. It says free wood now, so I don't know what I must have done there on the first. Or did I do that? <laughs> I don't know. And I think on novice you don't have to worry about the wind speed as well. Yeah, obviously it goes straight into the into the putting stage, so you don't have to worry about that. Right, so that means it's because the line's pointing towards me, it's going uphill. So try and line it up. And just slightly this way. I'll be all right. Let's give it a bit of power. Is that enough power? Oh shit! Maybe if it would have, that might have been all right. Now it's going downhill. A bit like my putting skills. <laughs> uh, right. So you don't have to give it so much power because it's going downhill. That might be enough. No, it weren't a fuck enough. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. At least I got that on par, even though I fucked up there. Okay. So this would be a par three because it's quite short. Now, it selected a pitch wedge straight away. So I think it does select your clubs for you. It's a good way to learn the game. Maybe that ain't. No, that shouldn't have been a pitch wedge. I'm going to get in the drink. It's going to go in the drink. <laughs> fucking hell, that didn't sound like a fucking splash. It sounded more like a shotgun. Right, maybe I should go for a stronger club. Maybe an 8 iron would do. So. That should get over there. Should get over there. Should get over there. Oh, that hit the hit the flag. Yeah. So if you want to start off, put it on novice. I'm sure probably most people watching this video has probably played this game before on whatever system. Um. Right. Okay. So I feel I've got to bring that over there so it goes round. So that's going downhill. So, because the it's going that way, you can compensate, right? So let's give it a bit of power. Hopefully, oh, go on, go on! Ah, didn't give it enough fucking power. What? Oh, come! What the fuck? That was ah, oh, damn it! So another five. Okay, let's have another, let's play another hole. Oh, this one's a par four now, so this one gets a little bit more trickier. But, right, so I might have to slice it round. I think, I can't remember, you got hook or you got slice? I can't remember hooks to the left or slices to the right or vice versa, I can't remember. Um, Right, let's try something. Hopefully, a little give it a little bit of a. No, it didn't work. I don't think hook and slice works on novice. I don't think that does. Uh, so yeah, not always it selects the club for you. So I want a pitch wedge. Pitch weight should be all right. Okay. Maybe it ain't enough. Maybe I should have nine iron, nine iron, nine iron should have done it. Because you need to, you do have to refer to the manual because it, it tells you each club um, can, it tells you their strengths.
Oh shit, it don't matter, does it? I've got it on. I think I always used to put. Well, when I when I've got good on um, world class leaderboard, I used to put it on amateur because you obviously you can use the hook and the slice, and I think it the wind takes effect as well. This is just to get you into the game. Yeah, I should have put it on amateur actually. Oh well, maybe I'll do that on. Right, is that going to be enough? Even though I'm still shit here, even that, even though I gave it full power, it still wasn't enough. So why let me fucking try and putt it? Right, I'll have one more hole. I'll do one more hole. At the moment, I, I honestly think the ST version is pretty good. Even though I ain't. <laughs> Even on amateur. But yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's, I'm reviewing it for the game, not for my skills. Um, it's a nice game to get into. And it's good that you got those different skill levels. So obviously once you master or you feel that you want to go to amateur level, then do it, yeah. It's a, it is definitely more fun on amateur because obviously you've got the wind and you can hook and slice it. And hooking and slicing can work to your advantage as well as not to your advantage. Um, right, I don't want one wood. Pitch wedge. Right. Whoa, I think that's too much to go. Oh, it's going over. Shit. That's going to be a fucking massive. No. It's too much again. Why am I doing it too much? Oh, fucking hell. Right, so come this way. In fact, is this even, is that even, a, being on novice, is that even doing anything? I honestly, I think it is, I think it is. I think even though it's on novice, you've still got to right angle it. Oh, what? Yeah, that was terrible. So, seven. Yeah, I'm absolutely doing shit. So we'll leave it there, you know. I think it's a good version. I think it is a good version of um, Leaderboard. Um, it represents the game quite well. It's, if, you know, if this was your first golf game, then that's good, you know. It was certainly my first experience at a good golf game on the computer, you know when I played the Commodore 64 version or over my mates. It was a really good golf game. Me personally, I'm not interested in the sport of golf, but playing it on computer, yeah, it's a good, it's a good, it's good fun, especially when you've got a few people playing it. You know, it is turn-based, which you expect. But yeah, when you've got a few of them playing, um, golf together it, is, it can be quite good fun and yes the st version is pretty good anyway gonna end this now thank you so much for watching until next time and goodbye